Hi, my name is Mike Jorgensen. I've wanted to start a YouTube channel for a long time now, and you may have seen some of my older videos where I didn't have the right equipment, didn't quite know what to do, so I'm really trying to do the thing properly this time, and I found the perfect partner for my first trip. It is Oakberg Tone, which is a brand new pedal company in Cincinnati, Ohio, which is where I happen to be located. Now, I'm not friends with this person. I just found it online. Uh, it, it looked like a cool pedal. I couldn't find any demos of it anywhere, so I offered to demonstrate one. He sent me one for free, but no strings attached. I don't have to say anything good or bad uh, about it. I could just play it. I could say bad things about it. I could say good things about it, but spoiler alert, it's all good. So what we've got today is the Coffee Pot preamp and booster, which I know that you don't know me because I don't have a channel, but uh, if you have met me before, you likely know that I'm a huge coffee fan and coffee connoisseur. Uh, and so that really stuck out to me right away. And you notice the controls are not your standard controls. They are in ounces and grams and from coarse to fine, dark to light. Uh, now, personally, I roast my own coffee. Um, so I am a connoisseur of all things. Those Controls make a lot of sense to me, uh, but you'll see how they sound in the uh, upcoming demo. And so I'm open to input on uh, what I could be doing better to sh feature this pedal, um, what I could be doing to get better camera work, better lighting, better sound. Uh, anything is fair game. Uh, you know, telling me that I'm a terrible player is fine, but I can't fix that quite as easily. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this pedal. I hope you check out Oakberg Turn Tone, which right now you can find on Reverb.com. And uh, I just enjoy this demo because it's a wonderful pedal. So this is my clean tone without. Now here's the pedal with everything at 12 o'clock. So now we're gonna mess with the grind. We're gonna go all the way up to fine. all the way down to course. Now we're gonna mess with the roast. It's uh, at 12 o'clock, we're gonna take it to light, all the way up to light. Now we're going to take it all the way to dark. Uh, now the, the gram, I believe, is just your output volume. So all the way down to zero, it does go all the way off. Not sure why you would turn a pedal on to do that unless you were, uh, it's a really expensive way to mute your uh, rig. Uh, but if you turn it all the way up, that's a pretty clean boost. It's not doing much to the signal. So most people waste a whole spot on their pedal board just for a clean boost that all it does is just increase 
the the signal and it can't do anything else. This one you could reduce it to that, but it does quite a bit more. And now we're gonna mess with the ounces. So that's as gainy as it gets. So if I set it the way I liked it, I'd have the ounces up a little bit, I'd move to the darker side of the roast even though when it comes to coffee I prefer a lighter roast and then I think I'm going to roll a little more toward the coarse side, which I'll, I'll call this the, the Chemex blend. my guitar a little bit. See it responds pretty nicely. Uh, we'll go to the back pickup and we'll give it a little more gain. The uh, Gibson FG, uh, this has Lawler P90 pickups in it, but other than that, everything is pretty stock and standard. And uh, got a Bixby on there that I'm gonna move out of the way. So that's our clean signal on the neck pickup. And I'll put everything at 12 o'clock again. already hear it adding a little bit of compression. Now, P90 is a little punchy, so I'm gonna roll it to the dark a little bit. Um, this one, I'm gonna roll it to the fine. We'll use, the, we'll pull the ounces back just a little bit and boost the volume to compensate. So that's pretty cool. and use a little more gain than that. test, I think, I'm debating between the Les Paul and a 335, but I think, I think more people are bound to own a Les Paul than a 335, so I want to make uh, a review that will match what most people actually own and sounds that they can achieve. So I'm actually leaving the settings, which uh, I had for the SG at the end there which are pretty gainy, as gainy as it gets, and this is gonna be, I think, a hotter pickup with the Classic 57. 
usually I have my amp set for clean with the Strat and it becomes distorted as soon as I put this Les Paul in. So now we'll... So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that demo. Uh, before I go, I just want to point out um, I, I, a preamp pedal is something that not maybe not everyone has had before or even knows that they want or need. Uh, but you're a guitarist, so you know that you will want or need every kind of pedal eventually. So what I was using as a preamp before this was the BB preamp, uh, the AT from Exotic Effects, which is a great sounding pedal. It has um, more gain than the coffee pot, but I'm not really looking for a lot of gain necessarily out of my preamp. Uh, and this is, I think people have even described this as kind of a Marshall in a box, uh, but I'm not big on the Marshall. I'm more into the American tones uh, and I really want to hear my amp. And what the coffee pot did for me uh, several times there and with three different guitars is I got to hear my amp. I got to hear it push my amp. I got to hear it uh, compress my guitar signal a little bit and then send that into the amp. And so ultimately I really like that. And I think it will probably, uh, swap spots on the pedal board, uh, with the BB preamp, no offense to exotic effects who I use, uh, other of their pedals. Um, but yeah, I think this is definitely going to sit on the pedal board for a little while at least. And, um, I think honestly, between this and the Bogner Wessex, it might be all the drive that I really need. Um, so anyway, leave me a comment. I'm so curious to know what other people think of this. Uh, you can reach Oakberg Tone on Reverb, as I mentioned, and on Instagram.com slash Oakberg Tone or at Oakberg Tone. Uh, and I'm not sure if his website is up and running yet as of this video, but I believe it's Oakberg Tone, T-O-A-N.com. Uh, so feel free to check that out. Leave me a comment uh, and let me know what you'd like to see. I have this pedal still, so I'm happy to make uh, another short supplemental video if that is helpful. Have a good day.